What? 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 Where are my notes? Where are my notes? My notes. Not my notes. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 20th of September. <clears throat> lots happening. Uh, lots of news coming up. There's going to be talk about... Uh, what am I going to talk about? Uh, Bitcoin, SUI, Hamster Combat is announcing something big. And all kinds of stuff that are going to be talked about on here. I'll be talking about on here. Crypto news coming your way. But first things first, this person is under the impression that I'm making a living of this channel. A living? Says the guy who makes a living playing hot potato with crypto scams. I make a living? Let me show you, show you something, you dummy. Quick jump into my statistics. Over the past 28 days, 297 subscribers. The subscriber count is dr uh, dropping. $27 made in 28 days. And I'm getting accused of promoting scams and making money? Making money and then living? Are you insane? If I am making a living, then I'm certainly not seeing the paychecks coming in. I don't know. Maybe they're lost somewhere here. Are they less lost? Oh, I found some dollars. Five dollar. Uh, one million. One thousand. One thousand uh, Korean won. Five thousand Korean won. That doesn't translate into two dollars. So um, it's hard to say whether they're making a living. Um, this is a far-fetched claim there, mister. What I do is I supply people with uh, advice and I supply people with videos and hopefully I do help some people who are falling for scams. And if crusty little suckers like Spoon, Spoon say Rifkun, uh come in and start complaining because they can't take their money off of Trade Ogre, which apparently is my fault somehow, uh, that just pisses me off. So Spoon Fed Fun Kid, Kid Lost. Let's go to the charts because they're looking pretty good. Boy, oh boy, Bitcoin at $63,000. Wow, we wow, wow. The market cap is at $2.2 121 billion in trading volume everything's pumping everything is pumping even ethereum is back up to $2,400 we might see it back up at $3,000 by the end of this year who knows Solana $143 everything is in green on the 24 hour and that is because apparently the fed cuts 50 basis points powell our decision today reflects growing confidence that strength in labor market can be maintained this is why we're pumping people. If you don't follow me on Twitter, do so. I try to make sure that I update uh, my Twitter feed, Twitter feed with the most recent news and updates and all that stuff so you can have it on the go. And I still don't make any money from it. The Bitcoin chart is looking juicy. Uh, Bitcoin pumping all the way to $63,000 where we've got the Bollinger Bands expanding here the channel is still on the down low going down on the weekly bitcoins open the second green candle there is no resistance here that i can foresee uh of course there is i just don't have it marked but uh we're looking at i guess sixty four thousand dollars i would say that we need to be on the lookout for the sixty five thousand dollar support line or resistance line rather right here because it is a round number of 65 which is a psychological trigger but also because it proved to be a resistance uh, in the week of August the 24th right here um, over that duration. Um, and it also was a support uh, on this M pattern right here before it broke down. So this would be the line. This would be the level $65,000 at which we, uh, if we break above that, we should have some clear skies up until 69,000. But if we don't break uh, above that, then we might see some more bouncing about, some more retracement and Bitcoin remaining within this uh, descending channel. First things first, I know some people are hating on hamster combat because uh, well, it's a clicker game. It's a clicker game turned proper token. And so there are some crusties out there who I've seen complain about it just the other day and uh, saying how Binance is not an important exchange anymore because they're listing they're listing uh, hamster combat on its platform. Like, why wouldn't you list uh, a token that has millions of users on your platform and thus bring those millions of users to your platform? Like, uh, you know, there's a reason why people like that don't have businesses because their mindset is not around that particular topic and they have no clue how businesses work. There's no such thing as bad publicity, they say, right? So even if Hamster Combat was a complete shit coin, the fact that it's bringing millions, like right now we're looking at 58 million subscribers, 
to the platform is huge. And right now, Hamster Combat is promising 300 APY annual percent yield on Hamster Combat in Wallet. So selecting Wallet to receive your Hamster Combat tokens allows you to join an exclusive Wallet Earn campaign on September 24th and receive 300% APY for up to 7 days. If you haven't chosen your claim method yet, go to the Hamster Combat app and choose Wallet in the AirDrop tab to participate in the promotion with Wallet. You can easily confirm your account and then receive your tokens directly in the telegram you will then be able to buy and sell hamster to other users send them to telegram contracts uh, contacts without fees exchange them for other cryptocurrencies and deposit them into wallet earn promotions for passive income so uh how do we set that up i made a video about that in the past already showing you how to get in on the hamster combat token airdrop but let me just show you that quickly before we move on to other news. Very, very important news. The exchange has started working for you. Thank you, Binance. So I am registered with Binance right here. You can do your registration if you go to the airdrop token right here and click on the withdrawal. There are two tabs, points and ta withdrawal. You need to click on the withdrawals and then choose the exchange. Once you have chosen it, you would have to reset it. Reset withdrawal uh, option in order to change it. And so I assume... I mean, based on the announcement that this 300 API will be available to all. Hamster Combat has introduced a new earn program that allows users to earn 300 API on for claiming their airdrop tokens directly from its wallet on Telegram. So maybe, maybe not, maybe only on Telegram. So if you are claiming these tokens on Telegram, you might be able to stake them for 300. If you're doing it on Binance, you might not. Hmm. Hamster Combat has announced a new earn program tailored for users claiming their airdrop tokens through Telegram. The program is set to begin on September 24, two days before the token's official launch, offering users the opportunity to increase their holdings. The promotion is designed for those who claim hamster tokens directly from the Hamster Combat wallet on Telegram. According to the announcement, users can access the exclusive wallet earn campaign which offers a remarkable 300 apy for a limited period of seven days to participate in the promotion users need to choose wallet in their airdrop claim method within the hamster combat app hamster combat explained that by selecting this option under the airdrop tab users can seamlessly verify their accounts um and have their tokens transferred directly into their telegram wallets so that means that you should be choosing this option i think wallet in telegram in order to be eligible for the 300 apy and i think i would like to be eligible for the 300 apy so let's cancel this um uh, and do the wallet thing connect my wallet success we're connected return to hamster combat now you have to keep in mind that if you do that, you'll be you'll be required to pay fees, transaction fees. Thank you, Binance. You'll be required to pay transaction fees um, in ton for using the Telegram wallet. So that's just a thing that you need to keep in mind. After choosing, you cannot change withdrawal option. So basically, once you choose uh, this, you may not be able to change it later. So that's, uh, hmm, it's like 300% extra um, versus having a smooth transition to Binance. And I don't even know what the airdrop is going to be like. It could be just minuscule. This requires a separate video, so maybe we'll do that later. Moving on. Okay, Sui. Sui is uh, against top 25. I made a video a while ago. Let's move to the biggest screen. I made a video a while ago about talking about Sui. And I said that Sui is becoming a serious contender to Ethereum. Um, and right now it's proving to be so. It pumped to 25th position. Some news about Bitcoin. Harvard students launch new Bretton Woods project to fix debt crisis. The buys from Harvard are, are trying to fix the economy. Harvard student launched new Bretton Woods project to fix debt crisis. According to veteran trader Peter Brandt, the United States dollar has lost over 90% of its value since 1950s since the 1950s due to inflation and harvard students and, and alumni have announced the launch of the new Bretton woods project an initiative focused on creating bitcoin backed stable coins to combat the global debt crisis 
the project aims to build a Bitcoin stablecoin on the Bell to network a Bitcoin layer two solution, allowing users to retain control of their Bitcoin while simultaneously creating opportunities for lending, borrowing, and stablecoin issuance. If you notice how all the news are green now and everybody's jumping on the bandwagon because now since Bitcoin is pumping, everybody wants to be in on the game and everybody wants to be spoken about. You know, the mic market is hyping up a little bit somebody won a bitcoin in a pack of 33 dollar pack of trading cards at gamestop pretty cool so uh gamestop had released uh game packs of cards or packs of cards on which they feature uh celebrities like uh, cryptocurrency celebrities and stuff like that and one of those cards um allowed a lucky winner to get a bitcoin so that's pretty nifty good job Bitcoin escapes 50 day downtrend and eyes new highs. This chart here, it's on the one hour. So um, I'm not sure that this is a very relevant thing on the one hour. Yeah, okay, let's have a quick look at the charts. On the one hour, mm -hmm. here we go, the one hour chart. And while that's all nice and good, um, we know that uh, basically one hour, well, I mean, it's just one hour. so. I'm not sure that this is a I'm not sure that this is a very significant chart so if we drew the regression trend right here um, we can see that it broke out above right here on the one hour but I mean it is the one hour if you go to the daily we're still very much within this channel oh this is not we're still very much within the one hour within the daily channel so nah that's not very um, not a very telling article. Delete. Gary Gensler in the SEC, and he looking spiffy. 4.86 billion in fines. That's how much money they collected over the past few months, really. In 2024 alone, we're talking about scams and hacks. These guys are taking billions in dollars in fines, what they call fines. And I wonder how this is going to be used. The SEC is... Uh, I guess a government agency, but how will these funds be used? Do you think that all of this money will go back into the system and back to the people uh, in order to fix their roads? Because the USA seems to be in a dire need of fixing roads and a lot of help. People living in shanties and tents. Do you think all that money is going to go back into the system or will it go into the pockets uh, of the likes of uh, Mr. Gigi and the other cohorts working for the SEC? I mean, in the past, 2013, total fines were in uh, 40 million. In 2014, they only collected two fines, uh, $119,000. 2016, and you can see the numbers. In 2021, they collected 20 uh, enforcement actions. So collected 20 fines, I guess. 703 million, and it's right now up to $4 billion for 11 um 11 el enforcement actions 11 fines and one of them being cz who paid uh, a hefty sum of over a billion dollars or something like that wow and then you've got two suspects charged in 230 million dollar cryptocurrency theft let's see what that is about federal prosecutors have formally charged two suspected crypto fraudsters malone lamb and jindil serrano with the theft of over 230 million worth of, worth of cryptocurrencies the two were arrested last night in their respective homes in miami los angeles they were charged with conspiracy to steal and launder funds the fbi alleges they used the funds to have been stolen thought to have been stolen from an early bitcoin investor and creditor of defunct lending from genesis on international travel, nightclubs, luxury automobiles, watches, jewelry, designer handbags, and rental homes. A uh, couple of young bloods just, you know, doing the regular stupid shit that kids do with uh, when they get in the position of too much money. So sad. Hackers steal 243 million in Bitcoin scam, but docks themselves on Discord. That's unfortunate. Uh, this is the same story, but it's a bit more elaborate. In mid-August, the scammers targeted a single creator, a creditor on Genesis, the institutional Bitcoin trading desk that went bankrupt in 2023. First, the scammers called the victim pretending to be Google support using a spoofed phone number and gain access to the victim's personal accounts. Then 
they then called again, pretending to be Genis, uh, Gemini support, warning the victim that their accounts were hacked. Through this, they prompted the victim to reset his two-factor authentication and send his Gemini funds to a compromised wallet. Meanwhile, the scammers fooled the victim in for, into downloading the remote desktop application AnyDisk which let them see the victim's screen and view his private key via Bitcoin Core. This is a cautionary tale. If you are ever in a position at, uh, where you're asked to download stuff, be it from a job advertisement or some other scam, um, this is how they get a hold of your desktop. So don't follow things. Don't download stuff on your desktop randomly um, because scammers are out there. Yesterday evening, both of these guys were arrested in Miami, LA. Over a million of their stolen funds have been seized with help from Binance and 500,000 has been returned back to the victim. Wow, well, that's a consolation prize from 240 million to um, half a million dollars. Wow, so sad. And some news from Terraform. Terraform Labs gets signed off from you as bankruptcy judge to begin winding down which means that they'll be burning a lot of tokens, I think. Um, and Luna Classic is, should see a nice surge as a bunch of their tokens be, are being burned. Australian Reserve Bank has strategic commitment to develop CBDC systems according to assistant governor. What the heck is happening, Australia? What is going on? Australia's central bank and banknote issuing authority is pursuing initiatives on central bank digital, digital currency and digital money. Uh, I wonder if they'd be making it available to the rest of the public or how would that work? CBDCs are such an ominous topic and apparently Australia is leading the way in that direction. That's it for these news. I'm going to take care of my hamster wallet, my Telegram wallet um, and see what the heck that's uh, the, what to do with that transition. Am I going to set it as a default option and have to deal with transaction fees on Ton? Or will I continue to keep it on Binance and lose out on the 300% staking rewards? It's tempting. It's tempting for seven days. Is it worth it? Hmm, I don't know. Make sure to smash up the likes on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, come back for another video. It's Friday today, so I may or may not be making another update video on uh, any other topic that might come my way. Um, if you are in the mood to support the channel, please, please join the memberships uh, for the price of one coffee you can be a crypto cat or crypto kitten and support my efforts here on this channel which some people don't seem to appreciate they think that i make a living off of scams what scams the only scams i talk about is the ones that i'm warning you against so uh, anyway share like sub i'll see you next one peace Nah, looks like I can still reset and uh, change my withdrawal options even after having set the Telegram wallet. So, all good, I can change my I probably won't. I like the idea of getting 300%.